Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DDG94, with another My Career bit. Well, not in my career. I keep saying that. I'm used to it, because that's my intro. So, yeah. I just wanted to uh, talk about Melo staying with the Knicks. I know I'll probably, by the time this probably gets out, it'll probably be, like, too late. But, <clears throat> anyways, though, I just wanted to talk about it. Uh not gonna be making a big like video about it or anything like that just you know so he decides to stay in New York and obviously everybody's up in arms because it's like everybody's like oh he really doesn't care about the ring he doesn't care about winning a championship he doesn't care about his legacy making it into the Hall of Fame a lot of people a lot of people have agreed with me when I said you know he really doesn't have a lot to his name and that he needs to really he, he needs to really do something in his career at this point now because he he's on he's on he's on championship or bust mode now and he didn't want to he didn't want to go to the Lakers I, obviously I wouldn't go there either uh, he didn't want to go to Houston or, or Dallas. And he didn't want to go to... I guess he didn't want to go to Miami either with LeBron departuring. He could have stepped in and filled that role of LeBron. But he didn't want to do that either. So... He decides to stay in New York. Said that's where his heart is. That's where he wants to be. That's his home. And I respect that. I respect that, you know, he wants to stay home. He wants to continue to he wants to he wants to get one for New York. It's it's kind of like the LeBron scenario, kind of. Not fully, but kind of. You understand where he's coming from. You know, City hasn't won a championship in so many damn years now. And you want to win one for the and you want to win one for the, for the, for the, for the fans. You want to do it for the fans. And you can see that they're making, and I think people aren't looking at what everybody's saying. Everybody's looking at the Knicks, and they're just looking at what what happened with the Knicks last year. But nobody's looking at what Phil's been doing behind the scenes since the off season. Ever since the off season started, the Knicks have been making moves. They got rid of uh, uh, Raymond Felton, thank God. They got rid of Tyson Chandler. You know, they had to remove him because of his contract. That's the only reason why. I mean, other than that, I mean, I, I don't really see another reason for moving him. So, that could be the only reason why. To moving him, you know Amari's contract is coming up next year. Uh, Bargnani is as well. So, I think the plan really is to just wait. Because I think Phil Jackson has a plan. And I think this plan might involve Kevin Durant. This is just me. Now, in 2016, Kevin Durant will be on the market. I believe. I believe it's 2016. He'll be on the market. And if Oklahoma City doesn't, you know, doesn't, you know, make it to the promised land again like they did in 2012, then obviously Kevin Durant's going to go elsewhere. I think he will. And I think the Knicks might be the first valuable option for him, considering their their bankroll. And I think they they have the the the, the money and the assets to 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 persuade him to come to New York. It could happen. I'm not saying it will happen, but it could happen. You never know. And then there's other players that's gonna be out there in that in that free agent market pretty soon. So I think the plan really is to build, is, 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 is to wait now to build later. And I think that's why Melo stayed. I think, he, I think Phil had, gave him this vision. And he saw the vision that Phil was seeing and I think they're on eye to eye. I think they're on an eye to eye basis. And we just have to wait and see. We don't know what Phil said to Melo when when they met up we don't know what what uh what Melo's motives were for signing 
everybody just sees it because of that big paycheck that's it that's what everybody sees it for everybody sees it for the big paycheck but nobody's really seeing it for the plan there's a plan you don't sign with no one you I wouldn't I, I'm pretty sure Melo wouldn't sign with the guys if there was no plan because let's say the Knicks never did get Phil Jackson. Let's say Phil Jackson turned them down. Say Phil Jackson doesn't want anything to do with basketball anymore. Like he's really done with the game of basketball. If that was the case, Melo would have been gone. Because I'm pretty sure they still would have had the same roster. Nothing would have changed. And that would have been it. So now that they have Phil, Phil's making moves. He's not making big moves, but he's making moves that are big enough to draw. But he's making moves that could possibly make the Knicks a contender. Because you got to remember, Miami is no longer the big, there's no longer a big three in Miami. So the East is now wide open. Lance Stevenson just went to, to Charlotte. You know? The East is wide open as can be right now. It's as open as it's going to be. So I think the biggest thing is we just have to wait and see what Phil Jackson has planned for Melo and the Knicks. That's just me. This is just that's just my philosophy on, on this. I don't think I don't think it was just for the money. I think there's a vision, there's a plan. You don't you don't make the future you can't plan you can't say I'm gonna plan ahead for the future and you ain't got no plan so yeah that's just my thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next video peace